Today we will be recording music for film using Ableton Live 9. You might be able to pick from different types of clips. I have chosen an action clip to use today. Drag your movie clip into Ableton. Press stop to take Ableton back to the start. You'll notice that you have a screen where the movie will be displayed. A sync point is somewhere where the movie and the sound needs to line up. We do this by adding locators. Press stop to go back to the start. You'll notice the set button. Every time you press the set button, a locator, a marker is created. Simply hit spacebar. We're going to use set for the first locator. There we are. Let's move on to the next. By default, Ableton puts its locators at the start of the bar. This, of course, could be wrong. You can change it. You change it by pressing Command 4 and then moving the locator uh, that is in the wrong place. For instance, number 6 here is a little late. We might want to move it a little earlier, so we press Command 4, click and drag. Now that you have those locators set, you might want to use some samples to mark those positions. For instance, I have a hi-hat here that I will be adding to one or two of these sync points. We could either use Foley sounds, in other words, sound effects, or we could use real instruments. I prefer using real instruments, and that's why I'll be using the hi-hat. Simply select my hi-hat, drag it in, line it up with the first sync point and let go. There we are. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. You could obviously use a variety of sounds. I'm going to go ahead and do this to the rest of the track. All done. The next step is to create the rest of the music. You can do this by using a combination of samples and recorded instruments. To find samples, you can search for them. You could listen to these by clicking on them and then previewing. I'm going to go ahead and do this to the rest of the track. I've imported mostly drum loops to set an action-packed mood. Note that I've put one sound per layer per track. This makes it much easier to mix later. We want to use layering when we are recording instruments. We can record any type, any sound that we want, as long as it's of a correct mood. Remember, the mood for this piece uh, needs to signify action. So in other words, it's going to be fast uh, and it's going to be lively. Okay, so how do we record an instrument? Well, we first need to select the sound and we do that by going up to the left hand corner. I'd like a bass of some description so I can click on bass and then double click on the sound to activate it. If we then try it on our MIDI keyboard, there we are. As a side note, to record on a track, you will need to record enable the track, press the record button and your track will be recording. It really is that simple. I'm going to go ahead and record some parts now. I've recorded all these parts in red. Let's have a listen to what I've done so far. Okay, you can hear that I've written a little motif, but I'm sure you notice that there are some parts that are standing out. You could mix these parts and you can use this as your extension task. Go to the side, you'll see the yellow bars these are your volume pots. Click and drag down to lessen volume. Click and drag up to increase the volume. You could also automate these actions. If you are stuck on how to use automation, please see my Ableton Basics tutorial that will help you through this. I'm going to go ahead and do some automation, volume and panning to this track. All done. Let's have a listen to the completed mix.
Okay, now it's your turn to try this. Good luck and have fun.